Okay, everybody, so I promised you a more in-depth presentation of the pathways from the ear to the primary cortex. And so one thing to remember is that unlike the visual system, there's no one major auditory projection from the ear to the cortex. Remember in the eye, there was just the one projection. So hair cells that are inside the cochlea Okay. Synapse on neurons whose axons then project out through the auditory nerve to the ipsilateral cochlear nucleus. So what that means is that these hair cells that are here project out, their axons branch out through the auditory nerve and then synapse on the cochlear nuclei here. And this actually happens on both sides. We have two cochlea, so there'd be one over here as well projecting its axons out through the auditory nerve, through the cochlear nuclei, but we only have in this schematic one side. Okay, now from the cochlear nucleus, some of these fibers project to the nearby superior olives, right up here. Okay, there are two. Remember the lateral and the medial. Now, from here, we project up to the inferior colliculus through this lateral lemiscus. So remember this uh, lateral lemiscus here. So if you can trace these pathways, you can see the nerve comes through to the cochlear nucleus, then they project outward through the uh, contralateral uh, superior olives and also the ipsilateral. Okay, so from the cochlear nucleus, you can see this path goes to the contralateral superior olives as well as to the ipsilateral uh, superior olives. So from the very beginning moments, we're talking about information sent to both sides of the brain. So from the inferior colliculus, the fibers then ascend to the medial geniculate nucleus, which is right through here. Okay? So we're through the inferior colliculus and we're going now to the medial geniculate nucleus in the thalamus. And remember the lateral geniculate nucleus is the visual relay station. Okay? So this is the medial supports um, auditory information. And from there, fibers then ascend to the primary cortex in this lateral fissure. So right here, this lateral fissure here. Okay, so just to review, the projections from each ear are bilateral, meaning that they go to both sides of the brain. So we start the hair cells inside the organ of Corti. The message travels through the auditory nerve to the cochlear nuclei, okay, and then the cochlear nuclei sends information to the superior olives on both sides of the brain, and then that information travels up through the midbrain via the lateral lemniscus okay, to the inferior colliculus, and then up to the medial geniculate nucleus, and then to the primary cortex. So because um, the signals from each ear are combined so early in the process, and are sent to both sides of the brain, the complexity of these pathways make them difficult to study. Okay, so we discussed that sound localization was an exception to that. We've done a lot on sound localization. Now the lateral and medial olives, okay, these are the medial olives, these are the uh, lateral olives, they uh, respond to differences in what is heard. The medial olives uh, respond to arrival time differences, and the lateral olives respond to amplitude differences. And then both of these then project to the colliculus. Okay? In the colliculus itself, the deep layers are organized in terms of hearing, and the shallow layers are organized retinotopically. Okay, so hopefully this will help you. Uh, let me know if you have questions.